1 form system of linear equation for the following situation and answer the question given. A. The sum of angle in a triangle is 180. For example, if we have triangle, so we know that we have three angles, right? Okay. The angle is x plus y plus z is equal to 180 degree. The largest angle is 20 degree more than the sum of the other two angles. So this one is the first one and this one is the second one. Largest angle 20 degree more than the sum of the other two angles. So we have these two angles, right? And we know that the largest is 20 degree more. This one plus 20 degree, then only you will get Z. So Z is the largest angle. Okay. And then, okay, the third one. 10% more than 3 times of the smallest angle. If you have smallest angle as x, so 3x, and we know z is more, is 10 degree more than this one, we can add this one. At 10, then only we can get z. So we have 1 equation, 2 equation, 3 equation. Usually to solve a uh, simultaneous equation with 3 unknowns, we need 3 equation. So this one you eliminate what can be eliminate and let one unknown stay until the end. So only leave it with one unknown and eliminate which one can be eliminate. So here you see here 2 and 3 you have z and z. So you can make this equation equal and z can be eliminate right. 2 is equal to 3. So here, this one is actually elimination method, which is minus. Okay. X plus Y plus 20 is equal to 3X plus 10. If you see here, you have the one with Y, so it will be easier to make Y stay. Okay. In terms of Y. I want Y here. So Y is equal to 3X plus 10. X you move to the other side become negative x 20 positive move to the other side become negative here you get 3x minus x plus 10 minus 20 so here you have 2x 10 minus 20 is negative 10 and one more thing you see here is that our z here is in term of x if we make this in term of x also when we substitute later we will only have one unknown which is x okay this one you have y Okay, this one is 4. You have Z, you have Y, so you can substitute inside 1. So, in 1, you substitute substitute 3 and 4. So, when you substitute Y and Z, you will only have X. And you can get what is your X. Here, X plus Y plus Z is equal to 180. When your x is x, y is equal to 2x minus 10 and z is equal to 3x, sorry this one is 3x x plus 10 is equal to 180 x plus 2x minus 10 plus 3x plus 10 is equal to 180 you can see negative 10 and 10 can be removed this one is 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3 gets 6, x is equal to 180, and x is equal to 180 divided by 6, which is 30. So when you get your value of x, you see this one is in term of x, in term of x, you can get what is your z and y. So z is equal to 3, x plus 10, which is equal to 3, 30 plus 10, you get 90 plus 10, which is equal to 100 and then y is equal to 2x minus 10 which is equal to 230 minus 10 60 minus 10 is 50 so this is your answer your angle for this one is x is equal to which is your x s is equal to 30 y is equal to 50 and z is equal to 100 B, the sum of the three numbers is 19, which is let B, X plus Y 
plus z is equal to 19. If the first number is multiplied by 2, the sum of the three numbers is 22. Okay, if the first number is multiplied by 2, so we let the first number be x. 2x, the sum of the three numbers is 22. 2x, only the first number plus y plus z is equal to 22. If the second number is multiplied by 2, the sum becomes 25. So only the second number, x plus 2y plus z is equal to 25. Find the value of each number. This is 1, this one is 2 and this one is 3. Okay, we can do elimination method. You see here this one is y. Come on. This one is y, this one is y. So we can eliminate y from 1 and 2. If we eliminate y, x plus y plus z is equal to 19. And this one is 2x plus y plus z is equal to 22. Eliminate y, you see both y is positive. So we must minus. y minus y will become 0, right? So I will minus. It can be below minus up or up minus below. It's the same thing. But then I just want my x to be positive. That's why below minus up. 2x minus x, you get x. Z x minus z, you get 0. 22 minus 19, you directly get 3. So now you get the value of x, which is 4. Okay. Now you get the value of x. You see from 2 and 3, you can eliminate z. Okay, you have 2x plus y plus z is equal to 22. x plus 2y plus z is equal to 25. So you must make the coefficient of the one that you want to eliminate the same. So both z here, so you can just eliminate it. Okay, minus, so I want to minus up minus down. 2x minus x is x. Y minus 2y, you get negative y. Z minus z is 0. So two, 22 minus 25, you get negative 3. So this one is the fifth equation. Now you see here you have x. If you substitute 4 inside 5, then you can get the value of y. Okay, here. 4 into 5. X minus y is equal to negative 3. When x... Since x is equal to 3, so here 3 minus y is equal to negative 3. I want to get y. y is negative now. We move to the, to the right hand side. Negative, move to the other side, become positive y. And then at this side, we have negative 3. Negative 3 enters um, the other side. 3, negative 3 when enter at this side, become positive 3. So y is equal to 6. Now we have the value of x and y. So you can use any 1, 2, 3 to get the value of z. But just, just choose the simplest equation. So I will choose 1. From 1, x plus y plus z is equal to 19. Our x is 3 and y is 6. And z, we don't know, is equal to 19. z plus 9 is equal to 19. Z is equal to, we move to the other side, 19 minus 9. So here we get 10. So X is equal to 3. X is equal to 3. Y is equal to 6. And Z is equal to 10.